Hi, I'm Andy from Andy Bird Builds. Today, we're building a walnut bookcase. So my wife is completely in love with walnut wood. So this year for her birthday, she asked me to build her a walnut bookcase. Okay, but I've never built anything like this before. After doing a little research on YouTube, I came across Jay Bates' video where he's building bookcases uh, using stop dados. So that's what I chose to go with for this build. I'll link Jay Bates' video down in my description. You should check it out. The first step was to take the rough sawn five quarter walnut boards and mill them down to the correct size for the bookcase. Using my miter saw, I set up stop blocks to make all the repeated cuts for the pieces that were all the same length. I use my planer to get them down to the correct thickness, and I use my table saw to get them to the correct width. Now that I have all the pieces cut to size, it's time to start laying out the stop dados. If you have no idea what a stop dado is, keep watching to see exactly what they are. Once I had them all laid out, it's time to take my palm router and start cutting them. I'm using this simple jig as a guide to cut these stop dados. All right, guys, let's get real for a second. Made another mistake, but it's okay. We're going to adapt and, uh, and move on and learn from it. So instead of doing this design, we're actually going to continue them down. So the blue pen is what it's gonna be. And the reason for that is the location of the stop dados. Um, I had them all oriented to the front um, but one, three, and five should have had the same layout of stop dados and two and four, um, should have had a different layout, but the same as each other. So since I'm on a walnut, 
This is the new design approved by my wife. That's all that matters. So let's add some more dados and cut some more pieces and um, get back on track. After test fitting all the pieces, it's time for the final glue up. I'm adding glue to all the joints and then it's just a matter of getting everything lined up and getting them to snap together. After assembly, it's time to apply the finish. I'll be applying two coats and sanding between the two coats. case. Disclaimer, I know my wife helped me on her own birthday present, which seems kind of shady on my part, but she wanted to help and who am I to say no? If you like this video, be sure to check out my other videos. I've got all kinds of different projects. So you don't miss future projects, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button, the notification bell will tell you when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time I'm building something.